So hello, welcome to Waka Wakiri. Today we're going to be doing resistant band, new band and hand weights. So let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment, taking up your common breath. Good posture always, shoulders on top of hips. Chest proud, not pushing the stomach forward. Knees on top of ankles. And now we're going to slowly open up the arms. Inhale your arms up. About the head, turn and come up and down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We'll never hold our breath. Two more. Inhale your arms up. Big, big stretch, lengthening the spine. Exhale again. One last one. Inhale your arms up. Reach for the sky. Exhale down. Hands to the thighs. Sitting up nice and tall here. Stretching out the neck next. Year to shoulder. Extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide and support the head stretch. This end is stiffness in your neck and a clicking sound. Just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. We're going to be holding it here for three. Two. And one, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale and center. Exhale and go to the other side. Year to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide the top of the head. Stretch. And we're going to hold it here for a couple more breaths. And slowly come back to center. Take an inhale and center. Exhale, over the right shoulder. Go to the way you come to. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, and go to the other side. Stretch. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift the chin up. Stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, chin to chest. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, we look at the right arm, this slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle looking down. Inhale, center, exhale, we look at the other arm, this slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. We're going to do shoulder stretch. Right arm up and across, pull back. Craving resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Pull back. Slowly release. Same arm up. Release the first. Place the hand behind the back. Use the hand to guide down and tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. One more breath in, we're going to slowly, slowly release, shake it out, lifting on the other side. Arm up and across, pull back. Craving resistance, chin is away from the body, arms to pull forward. Slowly release, same arm up, release the foot, place the head behind your back. Use that hand to guide out with a tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Slowly release, shake it out, hands on the shoulders, obviously, on the other side. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades, expand your lung, heart, chest capacity, improving your posture, oiling the shoulder joint. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Continue to oil the shoulder joint. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly come back to center, we're going to lay through in the center. Exhale and come to the side bend, release the bottom arm, top arm, suppress the knee. Chin is away from the body, eyes and pull up. Slowly come back to center, lengthen, exhale and go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm, suppress the knee. Side body long. 
slowly, slowly come back to center, lengthen, exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind it. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand, inhale, the other arm up. Forming your pressing, looking up. Slowly release, bring it on the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind this one. So we're going to keep turning over, look through your shoulder, look at the back, turn to the next one. See if you can turn a little bit more, reach your exhale breath, holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body back to center, don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming and pressing, looking up. Slowly, slowly come back to center hand, center thighs. So we are nice and tall. And we will come and reach for the mid bed. A little bit on your forearm. Shoulders relax down from the knees. And when you're ready, you can begin. Smaller open shut. Let's do another three, two, and one. Raise your arms up above the head. Smaller open shut. As always, we listen to our bodies to avoid injuries. Take a break whenever you need. Have a sip of water. And join us when you can. Slowly, slowly release, very good, shake it out. Look it on one shoulder, doesn't matter which one. This hand, grab the whole hand. The other one, move the thumb through. Just pull back. Extend all the way out. Feel free to have different weight so you can switch back and forth to challenge yourself. Make sure there's resistance. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Switching side. Put on your arm and the other one with the thumb through. And we're going to extend. All the way back. So I'll give you a side view. You don't have to sit sideways. Take this away from the body, eyes will be forward with posture always. Another three, two, and one. Slowly release, switching side. Shoot the arrow, pull back. Your side view, pull back, shoulder height. Check your equipment regularly for wear and tear. Slowly, slowly release. And switch side. Should the arrow go back and release? 
can only go halfway, that's fine. That loss is resistance. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very really good. Slowly, slowly release. And we'll wrap the band behind our waist. Now we're just going to work the other arm. So we're just going to alternate between the arms. So not overworking any particular part of the body. Let's do another three, two, and one, switching side, wrap the arm around the waist, get the one with the thumb through, pull it through. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. And we'll bring the band behind our head. So use the other arm. So we're working with the other arm now. Pull it up. Breathing in and out through your nose normally. We never hold our breath. Chest proud. Chin is way from the body. Eyes looking forward. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Switch to the side. Wrap the other arm behind your back, and this one, we're going to pull it up. Let's do another three, two, and one, very good, slowly, slowly release. So in between sets, we're gonna continue with some stretching exercise, alternating the shoulder roll, one up and one down. Change direction, go the other way, circular motion. Slowly, slowly release, and we're just going to do a few rounds of wrist rotation. Change direction, go the other way. Forward backwards, banging down. Down up, forward backwards. Change leg like off, give it a very, very gentle shake. And shake, shake, shake. Very good. And we'll lift the band on our thigh. Adjust your posture, palm facing up, tuck down and close your body, pull it up.
Let's do another three, two, and one, switching side. Tuck that and close your body, palm facing up, and when you're ready, pull it up. When you release, nice and slow, make sure the band doesn't snap back into you. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Place both legs into your bed, up on your thighs, with the open shut. Sitting up nice and tall when you're ready. Open up. You're stretching your inner thighs, opening up the hip joint. Toes are pronated out. In, draw in, knees together. Toes are pronated in. So we go. Two, on go. Open shut. Now we add the arms when we open, arms up, palm facing knee. In, draw it in, elbows together, knees together. So keep going, open shut. Or your own breath and your own pace. Connecting your breath with your movement, so both arms side. Let's do another three, two, and one. Keep the legs open. We'll come side to side. Coming into a crescent moon, just windmill your arms. Make sure you sit securely on your chair. You're not going to fall off. Coming into a side bend. Continue to open up the hip joints, striking the inner thighs. Slowly, slowly come back and bring the legs together. And we will move the band further down to your calf. Knee up, extend, point the toes up to the ceiling. Slowly release. So move up, extend, and release. If you like, you can add the arms, arms up, legs up, reach for the sky, exhale down. So keep going, arms up, legs up. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Pull your belly in towards the spine. Let's do another three, two. And one. 
Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Take a couple of calming breaths and we're going to throw the leg up. Smaller open chest. And if you like, please stick to the arms. You have the brain basically to coordinate the movement. And slowly, slowly release. Very good. Now we will place the band on one foot. Take some water you need. Stay hydrated during the program. Extend, point the toes up to the ceiling, slowly release. Knee up, extend, point the toes up to the ceiling. Add the opposite arm, opposite leg. If you like, can have a bigger movement. If you're not able to raise your arm up above the head, if you have shoulder issues, like frozen shoulders, don't worry. We are swinging, we are not kicking, we're not hitting. So we will continue to create flexibility and mobility in your joint while we stretch, strengthen, and tone muscle, maintaining muscle mass and bone density as we age. Now let's do two more. And one last one. Very good, slowly release, switching sides. Good. Knee up, extend, bring it in, lower down. Up, extend, bring it in, lower down. So keep going, adding the opposite arm, opposite leg. Swing, don't hit. If you like, make a movement. Just be mindful that right side may be different from the left side, so that's perfectly normal. Do what you can today to challenge yourself. Let's do another three. Two and one, slowly release, switch inside. Up, point your toes up to the ceiling, open up, stretch your inner thighs, bring it in, lower down. So up, open, close, and down. Go your own breath and your own pace. Let's do another three, two, and one last one. Slowly release, switch inside. Knee up, extend, open, close, and down. So keep going. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to continue with the longer bend. Hold it in the heart. 
chest level. When you're ready, tuck it out and close your body and feel extended. Adjust the length of your bend to suit your body type, your ability, and your level. So another three, two, and one, release, bring it to the back. That doesn't close your body, and you can extend. Let's do another three, two, and one. There we go. Slowly, slowly release. Bring it in the front. And then inhale to lift the arm up. Coming into a side bend, looking up. If your neck is good, coming back to center. The other side. Feel the length in the side of your body. Come back to center, and we go to the other side. Sitting securely on your chair, you're not going to fall off. Slowly, slowly come back to center, take a breath here, and we're going to go into a big, big figure eight. Know your range of motion always. If this is too much for you, if you're tired, take a breath. Have a sip of water and join us when you can. Change direction, go with the other one. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release, shake it out, and we're going to get ready to stand up. Get the equipment with you. We're going to do some cat and cow on the chair. So spread all your fingers, wrist, shoulder align, ankles, and your hips align. Not sticking the butt and not bending the arms. So when you're ready, inhale, drop the belly, chin up, look up, into your cat. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Bring the belly in tight, looking down into your cat. So we're going to keep going. And your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. And also help people to release back pain. So two more times. And one last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take your time to rise up. Two, standing, shake it up. Hamstring stretch. If you can place the foot on the chair, go ahead. If you sit too high, you can do it on the floor. 
Point the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the rest front, shift the weight to the standing leg, inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale with a hinge, holding on to the end of the foot, the legs, or holding on to your chair. Have a slight bend in your knee, if this is too tight, chin is away from the body, eyes will be full. Hamstring stretch, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up, two release, alternating when you release, mountain climbing, bicycle, release any tension that you may have. And we're going to repeat on the other side, hamstring stretch, front leg stretch, back leg bend, point the front toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front, shift the weight to the standing leg, inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale the reach. Holding on to the the foot, the legs are release, the hands are on the Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Holding a hip. Four, three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly rise up and release. Alternating bending in this mountain climbing bicycle. And we're going to continue for two step stretch. Shift the weight to one leg, holding on to your chair to set up. Grab a hold of the other foot or ankles. Knees together, we're not opening up the knees. For two step stretch. Holding it here for three. Slowly, slowly release, alternating by your knees. Mountain climbing bicycle, release any tension that you may have. And on the other side, you the weight to stand in it. Grab hold the other foot or ankles, knees together, take the foot into your hands. Half so firm, chin is away from the body, eyes will be full. Holding it here for three. And one, very good, slowly, slowly release, alternating the knees, arm to climbing bicycle, and we're going to be firming up our legs. If you like, you can use the long loop band. Raise the foot on the band, spread the hip to the front. Very small leg. Straight leg. We're not bending the leg. Do it about 20 times. Firming up your butt. Abs are firm. Chin is away from the body. Eyes are firm. Take a focal point that doesn't move. That will help you with balancing. Strengthening the standing leg and ankle. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, switching side. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Bring up the other leg, small little kick. Backs are firm, chin is away from the body. Eyes are here, the focal point. Hold Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating when you release, mountain climbing, bicycle. Release the intention that you may have. And we're done with the chair. We're going to put it aside. Let's hold the long band. Place your feet on the bed. Tuck that elbow close your body. When you're ready, pull it up, palm facing up. Soft knees, come lock your knees. Thank you. 
Let's try some doubles. When you release, nice and slow. Adding a knee drop for those who wish to challenge themselves. Knee drops are optional. Let's do another three, two, and one. So we release crisscross. Only up to the shoulder height. Make sure there's resistance in your band so you can adjust the length of it. Soft knees, engage your calf down the muscles. Chin is away from the body, eyes and head up, all the way forward. Let's try some doubles. Let's do another three, two, and one, release. One side longer than the other side. Place one foot on your band, and you're going to pull it up. Adjust the length of your band to suit your height. Let's do another three, two, and one. Switch to the side. When you're ready for that. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. And we're done with the long loop then. So we're going to place it aside. We're going to grab the hand where you missed. Back there, the clench of body. Palm facing up, when you're ready, pull it up. Soft knees. Once again, when you release, nice and slow, don't swing your arm. Control your movement always. Let's try some doubles.
Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Bring it up to the shoulder. Push it up. Let's try some doubles. Feel free to go back to single. Slap knees. For those who wish to challenge themselves, you can do knee drop. Knee drops are optional. You don't have to go very far down, bars to height. Slightly tuck the tables in. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Bring the weight to the chest level. We're gonna open up like this. Up to the shoulder height. Let's try some doubles. If you can only do halfway, that's fine. I'm going to add some sides there. Let's do another set of three, two, and one last one. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Come into side to side, legs are hip width apart, side to side. Slowly, slowly release. Soft knees. So I have a slight bend. We do the fly or we do the extend of the arms. Let's 
Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to do that drop. We're going to go all the way down. So I'm going to hang from the hips, leaving with the chest. So when you're ready, lower down. If you can go all the way down, go ahead. And coming up, we hinge from the hips again. Over the shoulder back. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Very good. Slowly, slowly, please. Shake it out. Show it a row. One. Both sides, if you like. Or we can do alternating as well. Change direction, go the other way. Slowly, slowly release. Now bring the arms up above your head. Hold on tight. We're going to drop the weight to the back of your head. One at a time first. Single, single. Shoulder exercise. Firming up the bye bye fast. Hold on tight. If you prefer to do this one without hand weights, go ahead. You can always adjust, modify, change it up a little bit to suit your Body tight, your level, and your ability. Now I'm going to try some doubles. Soft knees, don't lock your knees. Engage your core abdomen muscles. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Do another side one, soft knees, not sticking the butt up, not shifting the knee beyond the toe. So we're gonna fly. So we're just gonna do one at a time first. Eight to four down the muscle. Are you ready? Go back up. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. And now we're going to come lie down on the mat on your side. Keep your hand weight with you. We're going to come to a plank shell. So straighten out your legs first. And we're going to bend at the knee. Glue your feet together and we're going to do open shut if you'd like you can. Place the hand weight on your thighs. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release if you like. Little hammer, pat, pat, pat. On the meaty part, we never pound on the bony structure of your hip joints. Release any tension that you may have. And now we'll straighten up the legs. That's the key. If you like to have can weight on your thighs, you just sort of bring it up to about one or two feet off the ground.
Let's do another three. Two. And one, very good. Slowly release. Tap, tap, tap. And we will be switching side. Straighten out the legs, flex the feet, bend at the knee. We're not drawing the knee up, so straighten the leg, bend the knee, glue the feet together. If you wish, you can have the hand weight on the thigh. Clam shell, open shut. Do it about 10 times. Let's do another three. Two and one, very good. Slowly release, straighten up the leg, flex the feet. If you wish, you can have pet, pet, pet first. On the midi part, we don't count on the bony structure of your hip. And when you're ready, top leg up. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Tap, tap, tap. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to be pushing ourselves back up to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall here. Inhale the arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, we come to a side bend. Bending the lower arm, top arm to press the knee. Doing a few more stretches before closing. Inhale, your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we go to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm to press the knee. Inhale, center lengthen. Exhale to twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind you. And we're going to slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of one hand, inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release, repeat on the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. So when you keep turning over, look at your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of one hand, inhale the other arm, forming the crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. So we've come to the end of the workout, so thank you very much for joining me, sharing your positive energy with all of us, and letting me guide through the workout. Always my pleasure.